Hi. And in this video, I want to quickly take a look at Navisworks and specifically the Clash Detective uh, for checking our architectural models. Or from this particular video, it'll be from an architectural point of view. So if you're not familiar with Navisworks, it's part of the AC collection uh, by Autodesk, the same people that do Revit. So in this particular case, we have one of the Revit sample models and we've loaded it directly into Navisworks. So there's a few things we can do and we'll have a look, look at a couple of scenarios. But one of the first things I want to get going is linking in another model. So even though we're designing this architectural model, we're going to get supplied other models for like the plumbing, the electrics, the HVAC, all those sort of things. And we need to be able to compare our model, make changes and tweaks and stuff like that based on um, the other models that we need to, to work with. So first of all, I'm just going to go and hit the append button here. So that's the model that we're using at the moment, the uh, Snowden Towers sample architecture. And maybe we'll select the plumbing model here and we'll get that loaded in as well. And this is going to take a good number of seconds to, to load in. So maybe we'll have a look at two scenarios. So maybe first of all, we'll do an architectural on architectural sort of clash. So we'll we'll check for any duplicates that we may have added into our project where we've accidentally clicked twice and we've placed two trees, two chairs, two walls, something like that. And we can do a bit of a sanity check on our own model. And then maybe we'll run another clash with our architectural model against the plumbing model. Um, and get a general overview of how many clashes that are there. And I'm expecting there to be a lot because there'll be no openings in any of the walls at the moment for any of the, the pipes and fittings and, and stuff like that. But we'll have a, a quick look at what's there and, and maybe we'll do a, um, a more refined clash. We'll see what we like for time. So the plumbing model is loaded in. If I just go to the selection tree on the left hand side, you can see we've got our architectural model there, we've got our plumbing model there, which we can't really see because it's inside the architectural model. If I just hide the architectural model, you'll see all our plumbing uh, there. Lots of pipes, lots of fittings, lots of um, equipment and stuff like that inside uh, of this project. So let's turn that architectural model back on. There we go. So the clash detective, let's have a look. Let's pin that open. So the first thing we need to do is add a new test. It's going to be, be called test one by default. Let's just rename that. It's going to let me do that. There we go. And let's just call this um, arc versus arc. OK. So we have a new test created. We just need to pre-configure. Uh, a few things we have these four tabs here for rules select results and reports so looking at the rules there's only a couple of settings in here we're not interested in any of those select so we get to choose our selection a and we can clash that against our selection b it can be something as broad as one file against another file you can start delving down into different parts of the files and if you create your own selection sets or sets, uh, which I won't cover in this, um, you can start clashing different sets together as well. I'm just going to simply select the architectural model versus the architectural model. There are a few other settings down here, so we can clash based on surfaces, based on lines, based on points and, and so on. We can choose the type of clash that we're looking for. Um, we'll set that to duplicates. Um, and you can specify tolerances as well. I'm just going to hit run at this point. We'll see how quickly that runs through. And that was very, very quick. And we can start to look at what issues are inside this model. So we do have um, a few display settings here. You can hide and bring that out by clicking the display settings button here. So we can choose whether anything's hidden at all. And I'm zoomed right in at the moment. So I'm just going to zoom right out we can have it 
dim over objects. You can have it completely hide over objects and just leave you with what we're interested in. So first of all, um, looking on the new test that we created at the top, the arc versus arc, we can see there's a total of 32 clashes, uh, 32 of which are new. So apparently we have a duplicate railing here. So let's have a look. So we have item A at the bottom and item B. So let's just bring those up or item one and item two. So it looks like it's the clash between the steel bars um, and the handrail, which I'm not too concerned about on this. It's not really a duplicate. What is it? I have handrail and steel bars. Ah, they're within the same family. So we're not too interested in that one. Let's have a look further down. There's the other items. It looks like it's picking up each of those bars. So maybe we're too specific in this one. Let's quickly go down and yeah, we're going all the way through the railings there. So no particular issues that we need to worry about on the architectural versus architectural model. So let's create a new test again. So I'm going to click the add test button. Let's go with something else. So this time we'll call this one arc versus plumbing. Okay. And this time we'll do the architectural model versus the plumbing model. We'll go with a, a hard clash and we'll just leave the tolerance as it is for now. Again, run test, very quick. 2,655 clashes detected. So we may, may need to be a bit more specific um, on what we're clashing against what. Well, already, first clash in the list, we can see it's a pipe going through the wall. If I left click on the pipe, I can see it's a pipe. Left click on the wall, I can see it's a wall. Something I'm not too concerned about on this one. I'm not going to make a hole in every single wall for every single pipe um, within the project. Something like that, we can probably ignore. I'm just going to set the status on this to um, approved. We're not worried about that. Another one, what do we have here? Some sort of uh, solid geometry. Let's look for an, a decent clash. What's this one? Water heater versus some shelves. Okay, so this might be something that we're interested in. So the plumbing team has put a hot water heater inside a closet. Um, as an architect, we've decided to use it as a cupboard for shelves. Maybe it could be something as simple as uh, this just needs moving. Maybe we can't use it um, as a closet um, or maybe the heater itself needs moving into a, a better location. So maybe we'll have a look at, at this one. Maybe it's our responsibility and we need to take um, the shelves out from there. So let's have a look. So uh, first of all, we can rename it. So currently it's called clash number three. We could call it something more sensible. Uh, let's call it shelf versus heater. We can choose again a status, new, active, reviewed, approved, resolved. Leave it as new. If I right click, let's assign it to somebody. John can be responsible for this. Let's click OK there. And let's add some notes to this. I'm going to again right click, add comments. Um, let's put shelf needs to be moved or removed. Okay. So we can run through these issues here. Once we've completed this, we can link this back to Revit. Uh, there is a plugin um, that we can use for um, clash management between Navisworks and, and Revit and all these notes and, and results will sync between the two. 
there's other third party plugins that you can use you can um, export to excel we can go via the autodesk construction cloud so all the information that we're putting in here we can quickly and easily get back to the offering software looking through i can see there's more heaters in shelves so we've got a, a few there so so four and five are certainly part of the same issue i can hold down shift and select those and I can group those together. So they're all kind of the same issue, just different locations. So heaters in closets clashing, clashing with shelves. So I can create a new group of uh, a new group to add issues into. I've got a group of selected clashes. So maybe I click that one there and it's going to group all those. And, and maybe I rename this one to shelves. Oh, is it going to let me type? Yep, shelves versus heaters. And then any more of those that I find I can assign to the same group. I can still select and work on them individually, or I can now work with them um, as a whole. Clicking on these, I can pull out basic information such as where the issue is. Using the properties window, I can see that this is in um, unit 409. If I select this one over here, this is in 308. So I know exactly where these issues are so let's do something a bit more specific because i i don't want to have to go through 2653 clashes so let's see how many of these issues there are so we know that this family is called closet shelf and pull so we'll just stick with closet for now and we know this is heater so what we can do, and maybe I do have a look at sets. So let's just move the Clash Detective out of the way and let's have a look at sets. So I'm gonna create a search set. And for that, I need to use the find items window, which I will also pin open. So looking at the architectural model, I'm gonna create a filter that's gonna find the family and it was if I could select the right item closet shelf so for the category we are looking under the tab element in the properties window which is that there and then on the element tab we are looking at the property family so let's find family and the condition so we want it to contain the word closet doesn't really matter whereabouts that word is within the property it could be beginning middle end as long as it contains the word closet we have a few additional settings below so we can match the character widths and case and stuff like that but we'll just stick with that for now if i do a find all it should find all those within the projects and in the sets window i can save the search that i have in the find items window here so i'm just going to save that as closet there we go so we'll create a new one for heaters as well so this time it's the plumbing model that i'm interested in and if i select the heater that's here again we're looking on the elements tab on the family property and it needs to contain the word heater there we go and we'll save that as a selection set as well let's call that heater okay so what we should now be able to do if i come off of that is if we go back to our clash detective and we create a new rule and we're going to call this one closet versus heater and we'll be a bit more specific and see how many of those there was without having to go through all those results so this time in selection a i'm going to click on the drop down here and it sets that i'm interested in i'm going to select closet for selection b i'm again going to go to my sets i'm going to find heater leave all the other settings the same run the test 
and there's 21 instances of those within the project. So I can narrow it down and be a bit more specific in what it is I'm wanting to check. So again, I can add any information to these, probably just group them all together, sign them to whoever they need to be signed to. And I can either use um, the Navisworks Revit plugin for Clash Detective um, for managing those between the two. I can come to the report screen here and I can output my own uh, report, choosing what information I want to include. Or I can upload this to cloud or use a, a third party plugin there. But I can then start to resolve these issues within the model. And once those are fixed within the Revit model, I can load in the new updated Revit model and I can rerun the tests. So Navisworks will remember the results here so long as you don't delete the original test. And we can rerun it and it will research those issues. And any that have been fixed, it will automatically mark off as resolved. Any new ones it finds, it will add them as new issues. So using Navisworks, I can do a bit of sanity check on my own models. And I can also use it to coordinate with any other models that have been sent. Thank you for watching.